It's time to see what your neighbors are doing to help us all. Sickle cell disease is a genetic blood disorder. It causes red blood cells to die early and it can trigger everything from horrible chronic pain to death. But here is what you are doing about it. Ronisha Ote lived with the disease. She died in 2019. Until then, she was a true sickle cell warrior, fighting for research funding, awareness, and support for others. Her mother, Rosemary Britz, is the executive director of the local Sickle Cell Association. She invites you to give blood in Ronisha's honor. The Remembering Row Blood Drive is tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It will be at the Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Hall. That is on Vandeventer and Olive in the Central West End. Alzheimer's disease can rob a person of their memories, their physical independence, and eventually their lives. But you can raise money for research into new therapies and a cure. If your family is living with the disease, you can also find support and a break from the fight. The walk to end Alzheimer's is tomorrow morning. Registration is at 8, the ceremony is at 9.30, and the walk takes off at 10. It will be at St. Charles Community College. That is at 4601 Mid-Rivers Mall Drive in St. Peter's. Organ transplants can keep families together, but they are expensive, even with insurance, and patients can wait a long time for a donor. MidAmerica Transplant Services works to connect patients with donors. They also help living donors join the fight to save their neighbors. You can help too. The Celebrate Life 5K will raise money for the organization, honor donor lives, and celebrate the lives saved. The run and walk will be Sunday morning, October 9th at 9.30. It steps off from the Upper Muni parking lot in Forest Park. We have a link to more information for all of these events. Just head to fox2now.com, click news, then the AM show link. And that's what you are doing about it.